Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1921 three pence, as we see on screen now. Firstly, in the video, I'll talk to you about the design of the coin in both reverse and obverse, and then we'll move on to the facts and figures of this coin. Starting with the reverse design, we see the St. Edward's crown atop the number three in a stylized font with lines running through it. Either side of this is the date, 1921, over 100 years ago when the coin was struck. Around the outside of the coin, there are two branches with lots of leaves on, and these are tied together at the bottom of the coin with a ribbon. This design was first brought in in the early 1820s, 100 years before this coin was struck, and the design would stop being used in 1927, a well long-lived and loved design, the work of Jean-Baptiste Malen. Lastly for the design, we can see around the very outside of the coin, there are beading or teeth or milling on both sides around the rim to deter from clipping. Now, as you've seen, we've moved on to the obverse of the coin. The obverse was designed by Bertram McKennell, and the initials BM can be seen on the truncation of King George V's neck. George V is featured facing to the left and uncrowned. Around him is a legend in abbreviated Latin reading Georgivus V D G Brit Om Rex F D Ind Imp. This translates to English as George V, by the grace of God, King of all the Britons, Defender of the Faith, and Emperor of India titles held by him, of course, at the time. Although this is a small coin, both sides have a lovely design with lovely detail stamped onto the smaller blank of the coin. Now then, moving on to the facts and figures of the 1921 threepence. This coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 50% silver, with the other 50% being manganese. This is the second year that these coins would have been 50% silver, as before 1920, they would have all been 925 or sterling silver. The weight of the coin is 1.414 grams, making it a very sort of light and small coin with a diameter of only 16 millimeters, and it was the smallest circulating coin at the time. The mintage of the coin is 8,749,301. So whilst it's not very rare, it isn't a massively common one and is a sort of middle point in rarity. A three pence, if you didn't know, is of course worth three pence, but that is one quarter of a shilling and one eightieth of a pound sterling back in the pre-decimal currency system. And back in 1921, when the coin was struck, three pence would have equaled 78 pence today. So not, you know, a massive buying power still, but more than three pence, of course. And the coin was demonetized in 1945 after we switched over to the brass 12-sided three pences. Now then, Moving on to the value, what is the value of this coin to collectors? In poor condition, it will sell for around two pounds. Fine condition, five pounds. In extremely fine condition, 15 pounds. And in uncirculated grade, 25 pounds. For collectors looking for the undamaged and unmarked examples. So then, whatever the grade, I'm sure you'll agree a classic design of a great coin and a great addition to any pre-decimal coin collection. Please do comment down below if you have this coin and while you're down there commenting, of course, hit subscribe as that is really appreciated. Thank you very much for watching all the way through the video, and we'll see you again on Bits and Bobs for some more coin videos in the future. Bye.